okay let's start the lecture so uh, we were discussing orthonormal sets the first result that uh, we have done that's the Pythagoras theorem so given any finite orthogonal set so we have the norm of sum is norm of uh, square of norm of sums is equal to sum of squares of norm that we have done now the next theorem is uh, the orthogonal set orthogonal set is uh, if zero is not in the orthogonal set then that set is always linearly independent okay. that's our next theorem Let E be an orthogonal set, orthogonal subset of uh, this. Let E be an orthogonal subset of X, where X is an inner product space and this the vector 0 is not an E then E is linearly independent then this E is linearly independent If, uh, if E is uh, orthonormal, if, if this set E is orthonormal, orthonormal, then norm of difference of any two vectors is root 2. Then norm of x minus y is root 2 for all x not equal to y in E. <coughs> okay. So, uh, first we prove that uh, uh, the set is orthogonal if, uh, if 0 is not in E. Okay. Proof. E may be a uh, finite, E may be countable infinite, E may be uncountable. So in order to prove the set is linearly independent, we need to show that every finite set, uh, every finite vectors, set of vectors is linearly independent. Let's take any set of vectors in E and we need to show that they are, they are linearly independent. Let, let's take any n vectors. In E, okay, and uh, let's take any n scalars, say k1, k2, kn, in k, in k, such that the linear combination is zero. I runs from 1 to n sum is equal to 0. We need to show that these scalars must be equal to 0. Okay. Aapko prove karna E linearly independent. Okay. E 0 contain hai That means any one of any sorry, any vector x1. They are all non-zero vectors actually. x1 is non-zero. x2 is non-zero. xn is not 0. So, uh, to prove uh, this E is linear independent, we have to prove that any finite set of vectors in E is linearly independent. Okay, that's the definition of a, of a linearly independent set. If it is finite, then obviously we have to prove that uh, the set is independent, linearly independent. We have to take all the vectors. But in case it is infinite, uh, 
then at that moment we must uh, show that every finite set of accuracy is linear because uh, uh, we are dealing with linear combinations and linear combination is always a finite okay it cannot be infinite so uh, now uh, let's uh, we prove that uh, kj is zero for each j runs from one to n okay so for each fixed g for for each fixed g what's the j g varies from one to n we prove that kg is equal to zero okay so we have let's calculate this now let's calculate this in a product we have this kg okay. it's a it's an orthogonal set so uh okay let's 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 calculate this kg xg x okay uh let's start to calculate this again. kg times this okay kj times inner product xj x we show that this inner product is, is equal to zero and note that uh, this thing is not equal to zero because the inner product of xj with xj it can't be equal to zero as xj is not equal to zero so it gives uh, this will give that xj kg is equal to zero so let's say uh, we try to prove that this thing is equal to this whole thing is equal to zero this product okay so product is zero because they are both scalars in the field so that means either kg is zero or this inner product xg xg is zero but xg xg cannot be equal to zero as xg is not equal to zero so it means that x kg will be equal to zero that's equal to this is a inner product kg xg okay this is a inner product kg xg okay xg right and this is equal to uh, this is equal to summation this is equal to kxg uh, kg xg then xg plus let's let's add this this number this k let's uh, take it like this it is uh, and let's take this sum summation i runs from 1 to n but i is not equal to g okay i not equal to g k i x i then x g so note this thing huh? this is uh, this is equal to zero actually because uh, this will be this uh, this will be equal to summation i runs from one to n i not equal to j x i x j and we know that x i x inner product of x i x j is equal to zero for i is not equal to j as the set is orthogonal set so uh, as uh, uh, the reason here as 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 this as x i in other words x i x g is equal to zero for all i runs from one to n and i not equal to g. Har kisi value ke liye except for i equal to g. For i equal to g it will be x j x j that is not equal to zero. But for i not equal to g the set is orthogonal so the inner product of any two different vectors will be equal to zero. So this uh, implies that kg inner product xg xg is equal to so ye iske barabar aa gaya kg xg xg then plus summation i runs from 1 to n i not equal to g okay. this is xi k i x i then x g <coughs> you have to clear okay, step 
and uh, now you can add these things uh, this vector is fixed so we can add the first two vectors so this is kg xg plus summation i runs from 1 to n i not equal to g ki xi then x g you can write this as summation i runs from 1 to n ab isme sirf kj aur xj nahi is sum wo yahan par hai okay so this i runs from 1 to n ki xi and xj and this you know by assumption this is equal to 0 this is inner product of 0 with xj that's equal to 0 so this means uh, we have this kg inner product xg xg is equal to 0 which implies that kj is equal to 0 as as this xg is not equal to 0 because uh, we have all the vectors so so the inner product is not equal so this inner product xg xg is not equal to 0 So that means whenever this linear combination is zero, then scalars are equal to zero, which means that which means that this set of vectors x1, xn is linearly independent. So therefore, therefore e is linearly independent because this is any set of vectors from e therefore or you can say every finite subset is linearly independent which means that e is linearly independent therefore e is linearly independent so whenever e is orthogonal set and zero is not in e then e must be linearly independent ab isi ke sath aur ek part isme hai agar ye set orthonormal hoga then the difference of the norm must be equal to 2 now now if now if e is orthonormal now if e is orthonormal and x comma y belongs to e with x not equal to y then then uh, we check this norm of we check its square okay by definition this is inner product of x minus y with inner product of x minus y and that's equal to inner product of x with x minus inner product of x with y minus inner product of y with x okay and then plus inner product of y with y and this is equal to norm x square but, uh, since x is not equal to y and e is orthonormal that means it is also an orthogonal set which means that the inner product of x with y as x is not equal to y this must be equal to 0 and this is also equal to 0 and this will be normal okay now again uh, this uh, is orthonormal that means every vector is normal means that norm of every vector is 1 it's 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 so which means that normal x minus y is root 2 so uh, that means uh, if uh, we have an orthonormal set the different mm, then the length between any two vectors of orthonormal set is root 2 is root 2 so in other words it's it's like a discrete type set actually okay so because uh, any two vectors are at a distance of root 2 at least it's exactly root of our linear orthonormal set. <coughs> so that means this set is not dense actually, okay, in itself. E is not dense. E is not dense. This set, orthonormal set, it, it's not dense. So dense means uh, uh, if I choose any epsilon positive, 2, then I can find two vectors from E such so that norm of x minus y must be less than epsilon. So in that case, we can say E is a dense set but here uh, the difference between two the distance between 
any two vectors is equal to root 2 okay now uh, the next part uh, so from this uh, we get the following uh, uh, we have a following remark so that's this if is if is orthonormal set in x then is then e is linearly independent okay yahan par zero ki condition hai hum kyunki e orthonormal set is come but it is understood that zero is not in e to orthogonal ke liye aapko ek aur condition add karni hai that is zero is not in e okay to jab aapke paas orthonormal set hoga it is understood that zero cannot be in e because orthonormal means that every vector is normal that means norm of every vector must be equal to 1 so zero is not in e so then e is linearly independent then e is linearly follows from previous theorem okay it's very simple so uh now uh, let's try to prove the converse so we have seen that any orthonormal set is linearly independent now what about converse if we have a if uh, if we have uh, any linearly independent set uh, can we say that that set is orthonormal but uh, we can't say that's orthonormal but can we construct the orthonormal set of vectors from that given set of linearly independent vectors and the answer is no an answer is true for countably independent but uh, you can you can see it here that this e we don't have any condition on e whether it's countable whether it is finite or infinite or uncountable so it may be any set for the converse uh, we take a linearly independent set which is countably independent not for general sets countably infinite uh, or uh, which is countable in can see which is countable countable means either finite or countably infinite so for the uncountable set we don't have any construction we don't have any algorithm but uh, for a countable set if e is a linearly independent set and it's ortho also countable then uh, we can construct the uh, this uh, orthonormal set of vectors okay from that set so that's called a uh, gram schmidt uh, orthonormalization theorem okay this is the theorem <coughs> which uh, gram schmidt gram schmidt process okay this is a uh, orthonormalization orthonormalization okay this is the theorem <sighs> now uh, uh, the statement is uh, suppose that we have a given linear independent set let this true for also finite set as well here we are taking the infinite set countably infinite be linearly independent be linearly independent subset of an inner product space x subset of an inner product space x now uh, we define new set of vectors define first we define the first uh, the first vector is given by this formula y1 take this y1 as same as x1 okay फर्स्ट वेक्टर हम चेंज नहीं करेंगे मगर इसको आप नॉर्मल बनाने के लिए व्हाट वी डू वी डिवाइड दिस बाय नॉर्म ओके एंड लेट्स डिफाइन द वन मोर वेक्टर दैट्स एक्चुअली वी कंस्ट्रक्ट टू सेट ऑफ वेक्टर्स वन इज द सेट ऑफ वेक्टर्स ऑफ वाइज एंड सेकंड इज द सेट ऑफ वेक्टर्स ऑफ यूज ओके दिस इज यू वन सो वाइज जो है ना ये ऑर्थोगोनल होगी अब इसके बाद आप यूज कंस्ट्रक्ट करोगे वो ऑर्थोनॉर्मल होगी ओके सो यू वन इज इक्वल टू 
वाई वन ये हम वाई से कंस्ट्रक्ट करेंगे पहले हम वाइज एक्सेस से कंस्ट्रक्ट करेंगे इसके बाद हम इन वाइज से यूज को कंस्ट्रक्ट करेंगे दिस 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 फर्स्ट स्टेप अब इसके बाद सेकंड वेक्टर को चेंज करना है फिर थर्ड फोर एंड वन एंड सो फोर तो दिस एक्चुअली इंडक्टिव प्रोसेस एंड फॉर एन इक्वलिटी एंड फॉर एन इक्वलिटी सी टू थ्री एंड सो वन एंड सो फोर वट वी डू वी डिफाइन वी डिफाइन वायन फॉर एन रन स्ट नॉट टू ओके वी डिफाइन वायन इज इक्वलिटी दैट वी डिफाइन द इंटरव्यूज ऑफ वैक्टर दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओके सो वी आर डिफाइनिंग वायन दैट मीन्स वी हैव कंस्ट्रक्ट द वैक्टर्स अप टू एन माइनस वन ओके सो इट्स गिवन बाई दिस इट्स एक्स एन इज ऑलरेडी वी हैव दिस एक्स एन ओके एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी यू वन यू टू अप टू यू एन माइनस वन क्योंकि अब हमें अब हमने वाई एन को कंस्ट्रक्ट करना है तो इसका मतलब है कि हम मान रहे हैं कि यू एन माइनस वन तक आपने वैक्टर्स को कंस्ट्रक्ट किया है सो एक्स एन तो ऑलरेडी आपके पास है ही ऊपर गिवन सेट ऑफ वैक्टर्स है इट्स इट्स इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्स एन विद यू वन जो आपने ऊपर कंस्ट्रक्ट किया है टाइम इज यू वन then minus inner product of x n u2 then u2 minus minus inner product of x n with u n minus 1 times u n minus 1 okay so ye aapka ye aapke y se okay सपोज अगर आप y2 निकाल क्योंकि y1 तो आपने ऊपर निकाला ना y1 वन भी यू वन भी अब इसके बाद y2 निकालोगे वट्स वट विल वाई टू वाई टू इज इक्वल टू एक्स टू माइनस इनर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्स टू यू वन यू वन ऑन इन दिस तो अब आपके पास y2 आ गया इस y2 से आप u2 निकालोगे वट्स यू टू यू टू विल बी वाई टू डू एल बाई नॉर्म ऑफ वाई टू सो नाउ लेट्स लेट्स टेक दिस दिस डिफाइन लेट्स डिफाइन दिस यू एन यू एन इज इक्वल टू यू एन सिर्फ नॉर्मलाइजेशन के लिए वाई एन डिवाइडेड बाई नॉर्म ऑफ वाई सो बाई बाई डिफाइनिंग दीज न्यू सेट ऑफ फैक्टर्स वी ऑप्टेन द फॉलोइंग देन देन then this set of new vectors u1 u2 u1 u1 u2 this is an infinite set is an orthonormal set is an orthonormal set in x okay this set is an orthonormal and uh, for each value of n and for n runs from 1 to up to infinity the spawn of the given set of vectors which is x1 x2 xn it's true for any n okay this spawn is same as spawn of these new set of vectors which is now orthonormal u1 u2 u n ओके okay, स्टेटमेंट आपको समझ आ गया इस थर्म का सो व्हाट इज द स्टेटमेंट वी हैव गिवन अ लीनियर इंडिपेंडेंट सेट व्हिच इज एन इनफिनिट सेट एंड फ्रॉम दिस सेट वी डिफाइन अ न्यू सेट वी डिफाइन वाइज एंड यूज बट फर्स्ट वी डिफाइन वाई वन व्हिच इज सेम एज एक्स एन देन वी डिफाइन यू वन व्हिच इज द व्हिच इज एक्चुअली द नॉर्मलाइजेशन ऑफ दिस वाई वन दैट्स वाई वन डिवाइडेड बाय नॉर्म ऑफ वाई वन नेक्स्ट वी डिफाइन वाई एन लाइक दिस सपोज वी हैव डिफाइनड वाई एन इज अप टू See, we have defined u n is from up to u n minus one. Okay, u one, u two, u n minus one. Suppose have been defined, then we define y n and u n. Okay, then this set of new vectors u one, u two, u n is our normal set, and the spawn of x one, x two, x n is same as spawn of this u one, u two, u n. Proof.
uh, we prove this theorem by inductive hypothesis okay we we prove the theorem by inductive hypothesis okay so clearly uh, at the first step clearly uh, I pass a key vector okay clearly uh, this vector so kyunki ab aap iske liye karna hai spawn of this is equal to spawn of this okay so for n equal to 1 clearly this set x1 this uh, set is orthogonal kyunki isme ek hi vector hai na so you don't need to check orthogonality orthogonality to tabhi hum check karenge na जब आपके पास दूसरा वेक्टर होगा उसके इसका इनर प्रोडक्ट आपको चेक करना है नाउ लेट्स डिफाइन 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 दिस वाई वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन एंड यू वन इज इक्वल टू वाई वन डिवाइडेड बाय नॉर्म ऑफ वाई वन then this u1 is orthonormal is orthonormal and uh, you can see this span of x1 is same as span of y1 because x1 is same as y1 and that is same as uh, span of any square multiple of y1 स्पान में कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा कम स्केल मल्टीपल किसी भी स्केलर से मल्टीपल करेगा ना सो इट्स सेम स्पान ऑफ वाई वन डिवाइडेड बाई नॉर्म वाई वन एंड दैट्स इक्वल स्पान ऑफ यू वन सो दैट मीन स्पान ऑफ एक्स वन इज सेम स्पान ऑफ यू वन बट नाउ यू वन इज नॉर्मल वैक्टर इफ दिस सेट इज ऑर्थ नॉर्मल सेट so next uh, uh well, we uh, define next we define what we define a uh, y2 okay now uh define what's y2 what's y2 this uh, uh y2 is by definition it's uh, x2 minus inner product of uh, x2 with u1 then this okay only first on these two terms y2 and uh, uh, what's this one u2 it's equal to y2 divided by norm of y2 Now uh, let's uh, uh, we have two vectors u1 and u2. So now let's first check the inner product of u1 u2 that must be equal to zero. This is equal to uh, this is what this is x1 actually, okay. And u2 what's u2 u2 is y2 divided by norm of y2, and that's equal to one divided by norm of y2. It's a scalar thing. Time is x one with what's y two? Y two is x two minus inner product of x two u one times u one. So this is equal to one divided by norm of y two times this thing is inner product of x one with x two. Minus, minus this one. This is a uh, x two u one times x one u one. Okay. This. Uh, 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 but what's u one? U one is y one divided by norm of y one. Okay, that's u one. 
x1 x2 then uh, it will be uh, uh, this is uh, uh, this will be the conjugate because uh, this is the norm second component hai, scalar hai, this thing it's a scalar so it's a uh, x2 u1 conjugate which will be equal to u1 x2 it's u1 x2 then uh, this will be x1 u1 okay x1 u1 okay this is u1 x2 okay then x1 okay so this scalar ye maine inner product se bahar nikala hai oh then there will be x1 u1 with minus sign that's minus term here so that's equal to that's equal to 1 divided by norm of y2 times this is inner product x1 x2 inner product x1 x2 and what's next minus u1 what's u1 u1 is x1 by u1 is x1 because u1 is actually y1 divided by norm of y1 y1 is same as x1 so it's x1 divided by norm of x1 it's uh, u1 that's x1 minus x1 divided by norm of x1 with x2 okay then uh, it's x1 u1 again it's x1 u1 then x1 u1 it's x1 u1 what's u1 u1 is x1 divided by norm of x1 this should be called zero yeah zero on a chayamara but uh, uh, here it is uh, this is a uh, equal to one divided by norm of y2 then uh, this is x1 x2 okay minus uh, it's a norm by x1 ye bahar a jayega oh ye norm x1 bhi bahar a jayega it will be 1 divided by norm of x1 so you can note that this x1 is not equal to 0 because the set x1 x2 this is linearly independent okay x1 is not equal to 0 so this is well done it is it's x1 x2 in a third then x1 x1 is it's again norm of x1 square and this norm x1 square norm they go it's just x1 x2 x1 x2 that's equal to zero so therefore uh this set u1 u2 is ortho norm is is ortho norm अब आपको चेक करना कि स्पॉन जो है यू वन यू टू का इट शुड बी सेम एज स्पॉन ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू नाउ लेट्स फाइंड दैट स्पॉन व्हाट्स स्पॉन ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू लेट्स चेक दिस स्पॉन ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू और यू कैन डायरेक्टली कैलकुलेट द स्पॉन ऑफ यू वन यू टू दैट शुड बी गुड एक्स वन एक्स टू इट्स दिस यू वन यू टू यू नो दैट स्पॉन ऑफ द सेट Uh, span of the union of two sets is equal to span of the first set plus span of second set. So this is equal to span of u one <coughs> plus span of u two. And u one span of u one is same as span of x one. It's span of x one plus this. What's u two? U two is y two divided by norm y two. So it's span of y two. And what's y2? If you see that y2, what's your y2? Y2 is this actually. So it's span of x2 minus this. Okay, x2 minus this. So 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 this is equal to span of x1 plus span of uh, u y2 what's y2 let's see that y2 again it's x2 minus inner product x2 u1 then u1 x2 minus x2 u1 u1 okay x2 minus x2 u1 u1 
x2 minus x2 u1 u1 okay and this u1 is x1 divided by norm of x1 so this is equal to spawn of x1 so plus it's actually very simple agar aap isko achhi tarah se it's x2 minus this is some scalar so i don't what actually scalar scales uh, ko hum change kar sakte hain aur scalars ko hum bahar bhi nikal sakte hain holy metals okay x2 uh, u1 what's this uh, x1 x1 is uh, u1 is x1 divided by norm of x1 so uh, if i take spawn of x2 minus this so so that is it's a single vector which contains the scalar multiple of x1 also so this is simply the spawn of x2 only because spawn of x1 is already there is x1 ko hum bahar yahan se nikal sakte it's uh, it's equal to aap isko main aap isko prove bhi kar sakte ho spawn of this set is this whole set is same as spawn of x1 plus spawn of just x2 i don't need this part actually this is scalar multiple of x1 and spawn of x1 is already here so that's equal to spawn of that's equal to spawn of uh, it's equal to spawn of x1 x2 so that's spawn of u1 u2 to aapne ab do vectors you iske baad aap y3 nikaloge wo aap u1 u2 ki madad se nikaloge then you find uh, this u3 okay but well, suppose inductively we have uh, we have we have found the we have found the vectors uh, y1 y2 y1 minus 1 and u1 u2 u1 minus 1 or y1 y2 y1 and u1 u2 u1 so assume that we have defined assume that assume that we have defined this y1 y2 yn and u1 u2 un next we define y plus 1 and un plus 1 okay such that such that this this is orthonormal such that this u1 u2 un is orthonormal is orthonormal and the spawn of u1 u2 un is same as spawn of x1 x2 xn okay now let's construct yn plus 1 and un plus 1 so define by the above formula you have already formula defined key hai define yn plus 1 in terms of these un is u1 u2 un okay yn plus 1 is equal to xn plus 1 this already this vector already you have you have a x1 x2 infinite set linear independent set x minus minus inner product of this vector xn plus 1 with u1 that's a scalar here times u1 then minus inner product of xn plus 1 with the second vector which you have already constructed times u2 then minus so on minus at and now we have another term here xn plus 1 with un times un let's define this so uh, so in order to uh, uh, in order to find the normal vector un plus 1 that's equal to yn plus 1 divided by norm of yn plus 1 for, for that we must have this yn plus 1 this must be non zero okay this must be non non zero so uh, so uh, one thing is clear that if it's equal to zero then xn plus 1 is equal to this it's it's in the it is in the span of u1 u2 un then so for if for if for if y n plus 1 is equal to 0 then what will be x n plus 1 it's the sum of these vectors okay then then x n plus 1 it will be equal to x n plus 1 u1 times u1 plus 
x n plus one u n then u n. So it's it's a, it's a linear combination of these n vectors u one u two u n. So that means that means that means x n plus one it belongs to spawn of u one u two u n. But this is same as the spawn of x one x two x n. But this is not the case as the set of vectors x1, x2, xn, xn plus 1. It's linearly independent. So no any vector. If you have any linearly independent set, there is no any vector if you have that you cannot take the linear combination of the same set of vectors. Okay, you can take any vector from this. So otherwise it will be, become linearly dependent. So uh, since the set of vectors, since which is a contradiction, okay? Which is a contradiction, a contradiction as uh, a contradiction as this set x1 x2 up to xn plus 1 is linearly independent so therefore yn plus 1 is not equal to 0 now now we define un plus 1 now define un plus 1 is equal to yn plus 1 divided by norm of yn plus 1. Okay, this <coughs> yn plus 1 divided by norm of yn plus 1. So now uh, what we show, we, uh, we prove that, we prove that, we Prove that this set of vectors u1, u2, un, un plus 1 is orthonormal. Yeah, we prove it. So, first of all, we prove that it is orthogonal. Hai. Normal to hai u1 ka bhi naram 1 hai u2 ka bhi un plus 1 ka bhi naram 1 kyunki un plus 1 ko aapne define kaise kiya hua n plus 1 divided by norm of n plus uh, they are normal vectors so sirf hame orthogonality change ka, uh, define karni jo n vectors pehle iske ye orthogonal hai hai na sinus sinus uh, we have this inner product ui uj is equal to 0 for all i j runs from 1 to up to n with i not equal to Yeah, to hai orthogonal. So our message to improve the the inner product of un plus one with these n vectors is also equal to six. So therefore, therefore it is suffice to show that therefore it is suffice to show that this vector these vectors this this inner product un plus one with uk is equal to zero for all k runs from one to up to n. Yeah, so uh, let's let's find that in words. So we have let's find this u n plus one u k. We have for k runs from one to n. Okay, k runs from one to n. So uh, this is equal to this is equal to inner product of what what's this y n plus one divided by norm of y n plus one with u k okay and uh, that's equal to one divided by norm of y n plus one times inner product of y n plus one with u k okay so this one it's equal to one divided by norm of y n plus one times inner product y n plus one what's y n plus one let's apply the definition of y n plus one it's equal to x n plus one minus inner product of x n plus 1 with u1 times u1 and minus 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 it's x n plus 1 okay, 
u x n plus inner product of x n plus 1 with u n okay times u n then u k okay <sighs> Okay, this is equal to this is equal to one divided by norm of y n plus one times. Let's see this now. This is x n plus one with u k inner product x n plus one with u k. Then minus uh, this one. This is scalar here. It will be x n plus 1 u 1 times inner product of what u 1 with u k u 1 with u k okay then minus a uh, second uh, minus uh, then dot 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 minus last one is it's x n plus 1 this is a scalar it will come out from this inner product u n times u n uh, u key okay uh, this uh, k it varies from 1 to n okay it varies from 1 to n so uh, at uh, So yes, you just say inner product is u1 uk. This is called as zero except for k uk 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 zero k equal to uk uk one k equal to. But if you inner product is zero, then all zero k equal to. So here, only k term is. This minus me na minus minus minus. They are they are total n terms. I have only two terms written. First and last term minus x n plus one uk. You can actually take it as it is. Then these minus terms minus times this. They are total n terms, okay? Is me jo kth term hogi, wo kya hogi? That will be x n plus one u k inner product of x n plus one u k and inner product of u k u k. Or u inner product of u k u k jo hai that will be equal to one. So that means the kth term will be equal to x n plus one u k. Or baaki jo bhi term hogi, kth term ko chhod kar wo sari terms jo hogi wo zero ke barabar hogi because inner product of u one with u k is zero. Inner product of u and in general inner product of ui with uk is equal to zero for i is not equal to k and for i is equal to k it's equal to one so this is just equal to one divided by norm of y n plus one times inner product x n plus one with uk minus inner product of x n plus one with uk only these two terms as as inner product of u i with u k is zero for i runs from one to n and i not equal to k and inner product of u k u k for i equal to k jo hoga na inner product of u k u k it's equal to one and this okay this is the reason because inner product of u i u k is zero for all i runs from one to n i not equal to k and for i equal to k the inner product u k u k is equal to one so uh, this is the difference of same uh, same as uh, scalars in fact there are scalars here uh, so this is equal to zero it's equal to uh, zero it's zero. So this is zero. So that means we have seen this thing is zero. U n plus one. U k is zero for k runs from one to n. So therefore, this set U one normal to hai ye. This set is ortho normal. Ortho. So finally, we show that the spawn of these vectors is the same as spawn of the x vectors. Okay. Finally, 
finally we show that spawn of these n plus one vectors is same as spawn of these n plus one vectors. So let's start with this. We have oh, it's very simple. This is equal. This is spawn of what u1, u2, un, then un plus one. So it's a spawn of first n vectors plus spawn of the nth vector. This is a spawn of u1 u2 un plus spawn of un plus 1 but this spawn is same as spawn of x1 x2 xn this is a spawn of x1 x2 xn plus spawn of this what's this? un plus 1 it's actually yn plus 1 divided by norm of yn plus 1. So it's a scalar multiple of yn plus 1. That's same as spawn of x1, x2, xn. This is plus term. I want here spawn of xn plus 1. Okay. So spawn of yn plus 1 divided by norm of yn plus 1. It's same as spawn of yn plus 1. Now let's substitute the value of yn plus 1. And this is equal to spawn of what? x1, x2, xn plus spawn of what's uh, yn plus 1? It's xn plus 1 by our definition. xn plus 1 minus inner product xn plus 1 u1 with u1 then minus so on minus it's inner product of uh, xn plus 1 un then un okay now uh, the value of u1 what's the value of u1 value of u1 is actually it's uh, it's uh, y1 divided by norm of y1 okay <coughs> y1 divided by norm of y1 or you can say what's uh, what's the spawn of u1 u2 u1 it's same as spawn of x1 x2 xn okay so that's already there so that means we can remove uh, this uh, the, that term in the uh, in the subtraction this minus because this is already here this already in this spawn as spawn of x1 x2 xn is same as spawn of u1 u2 un so this is just spawn of x1 x2 xn plus spawn of xn plus 1 only. So that's equal to, that's equal to, isko mein aage if explain karoga next step mein, that's equal to spawn of, this is x1 x2 xn plus spawn of xn plus 1. A reason because spawn of x1 x2 xn is same as spawn of u1 u2 un reason because spawn of x1 x2 xn is same as spawn of u1 u2 u n okay so that's equal to spawn of this x1 x2 so on up to xn plus 1 so, sir, one thing that you have to verify is that spawn of, if you have two vectors, spawn of x1, x2 plus spawn of, say, x1, x2 plus spawn of, x3, x3 plus spawn of, x3 minus alpha1, x1 minus alpha2, x2. So, this is the same as spawn of x1, x2 plus spawn of x3. You have to check it. So, this is the same as spawn of x1 x2 x3 it's very simple huh? you take a vector here that's very simple if, if i choose x here so what will be x x will be of this type it's it's a it's a, it's a linear combination it will be vector of this spawn plus vector of this one 
so it will be like this alpha 1 x so it's say beta 1 let's choose beta 1 beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 and plus spawn of this this single vector that will be say beta 3 times x3 minus alpha 1 x1 minus alpha 2 x2 and that you can see it's equal to this is a, a beta 1 x1 this is minus this is beta 3 alpha 1 x1 so it's actually beta 1 minus beta 3 alpha 1 times x1 plus beta 2 minus beta 3 alpha 2 times x2 plus beta 3 x so that it's a it's a linear combination of x1 x2 x3 that means it belongs to the spawn of x1 x2 x3 okay x1 x2 x2 so that means uh, any vector which is in the spawn of the sum is in the spawn of this set and conversely you can see if any vector is here then that will be here so that's very simple so the both the sets are actually same. जो आपने जो आपने argument यहाँ पर आपने वो ना n equals two के लिए किया था तो वहाँ पर भी आपने यही argument apply किया और जो last step पर यहाँ पर भी आपने इसी argument का apply किया है. So that's the end of this lecture. Any question? So this is a the so the proof is complete now. So by mathematical induction actually this proof is now complete.